It's year 2022. This is my first video uh, for this year. The last uh, videos that you've seen was pretty much just a catch up of things that I posted this year that I've done last year. Uh, but for for my first video for 2022, I'm going to cover how I am going to try to get the best foam out of, out of uh, my foam cannons uh, so that I can properly wash these cars. So I picked up uh, a Ryobi. Uh, 3200 psi gas powered um, tried to use that last year but never really got a chance to because I got I picked it up at the end of the season so that's what I'm going to use as the pressure washer um, yeah I know my garage is a mess um, as it always is but um, this is what I was using last year the Ryobi uh, foam cannon um, it was coming out pretty thin so I figured I'd, I'd grab something else I thought that might um Help it much so that I can get as much foam as I can out of the out of the solutions that I've been using. Uh, I'm going to be using something different this year. So the fact that this wasn't working, well, I'll show you. I'll set I'll set it up just so that I can show you what comes out of here. Um, and hopefully this, like I said, this is going to make a difference. But uh, from what I've read, um, you can modify these things so that you can change the orifices uh, so that the foam can come out thicker. And that's what we're going to be doing today. And these are the ones that I ordered. So, and the solution I'm going to be using is this. Mr. Pink by Chemical Guys. So I am not sponsored by these guys. This is something that I just decided to use. So if anybody from Chem Guys is watching, hey. Okay, so one of the first things we're going to be doing is setting up the power washer with that foam gun. Um, unfortunately, you need that long piece to be able to use the coupler to connect the foam gun to the quick disconnect. You can't attach it straight right from this um, this gun. So let's go move the um, EcoBoost to the driveway, and that's what we're going to be using as a test run. Uh, reason why is because it's dark gray. Uh, you should be able to see the white foam a lot clearer and be able to determine uh, which is the better foam cannon and or solution. Um, once uh, I guess it's pretty much just a before and after. So anyway, uh, let's get at it. So we got the uh, truck backed up and. We got the setup going. Basically, she's all fueled up. I uh, just got to put in the solution on that uh, on that cup. Uh, she's all connected. Like I was saying, this is what I was talking about. But it's kind of awkward because it's everything's kind of long, and then you have that that cup that holds the solution. Uh, it's got to flip that around. Uh, it's just kind of awkward, you know, like you're waving it. It's better if it was short. Um, easier to manage that way of course it would help if I hooked up the water hose okay so I was using this for a while and it wasn't working out too well I am going to be using the uh, chemical guys mr. pink like I was saying earlier uh, just simply because I have gotten a lot of reviews saying that that's um, one of the better products so I'm gonna Stay away from this uh, just for this example and use, of course, the same solution. That way the comparison is uh, apples to apples. Uh, you know what? I might, maybe down the road, um, do a comparison of what the difference is between the two once I've got the uh, foam cannon all um, figured out. So hopefully I'm going to be doing this right, but I think you're supposed to be putting in one to two ounces so this right here up to here is four ounces so I'll probably just put it up to where this um, piece is that should be about one to two ounces You guys kind of see how runny it is it's supposed to kind of stick on to the the paint 
Um, but it's, I mean, it's not bad, but it's still, I don't know if you guys can see it, it's, it's, it's kind of runny. So what we'll do next is we will swap uh, foam cannons and see what that does. Same solution. So what we're going to be using to replace that is the MATCC uh, foam cannon, which uh, on the net has had really great reviews. It came with a bunch of uh, nozzles and um, adapters. So this is actually shorter. It has the, um, like I was telling you uh, with the Ryobi, this one actually has the quick connect on the handle itself. So it doesn't have to be, you're not carrying something that's just way too long and awkward. So, um, let's see what else it came with. Yeah. So we are going to fill this with one to two ounces, but I'm gonna go a little bit more generous, go three ounces on here and see whether or not there's a difference in run with the foam that's generated by Mr. Pink, by Chemical Brothers. Oh, no, sorry, by Chemical Guys. Uh, thinking too much of the 90s group, but, um, and see, I mean, if you could, if you notice, it's, you don't see any, any foam uh, left on there. Granted, it is, it's been several minutes, but still. Um, I'm not much of a detail guy. This is something I'm just learning uh, on the fly as we go along with it. Hopefully you guys can learn with me, but uh, figured I'd post this and show you the the process by which I discover on what is best to use for the JDM. So let me just quickly show you the difference, uh, what I was talking about earlier, between the Ryobi hose with the extension guys can see it from here versus the short one uh, that I just picked up it should be a lot easier to handle that's more like it If you look, it's actual foam. It's still coming down a bit, but it's much thicker. So, in comparison with this to the last one, so let me do it again so that you guys can, can see that I can cover the entire truck. So just the side that I did it on, you guys can see that it, the sud's still here and it's still, it's still slowly coming down. But it's definitely better coverage than the last one than this cannon right here that came with Ryobi. Same solution, didn't really change anything other than the cannon. Um, the, the, the uh, what's the right word for it? The uh, Concentration of soap is the same as the Ryobi, so um, I'm supposed to be able to make it better. And what I'm going to do is um, change orifices, and I'll show you how to do that just in a sec. All right, guys, so you saw how much better uh, the foam was on this canister. Um, so, what we're going to do next is believe it or not, we can make it even better. So, I'm going to be taking this new orifice, removing this piece right here, uh, just quick connect, and replace the existing orifice that's in here, in this housing, and um, hopefully create better foam out of it. So let's do that now. So I've already loosened it, so now I can just unwind it with my fingers, and let me see if I can kind of squeeze in there. And and kind of focus, but you could kind of see the orifice. Um, can you see it? All right, I'm just trying to do this with one hand on my phone camera and the other with the screwdriver.
Okay, so I got the new orifice in. Uh, that's actually better. Yeah, you guys can see that. Put the quick connect back in and we should be in business. And we will go and check to see what the differences are. So, ran into a little problem. The uh, gun stopped working. Uh, and so I had to revert back to using the Ryobi. And unfortunately, I need to swap some fittings so that I can get rid of that length right there. Because it's really annoying to have to cover the, the truck holding a long piece of uh, uh, item. I mean, I guess it works for siding and everything else so that you can get that reach, but not for a car. So I ended up, um, like I said, having to use that because the gun stopped working. Either I get another gun or I just continue to use this and somehow adapt some of the fittings so that I can shorten that length, uh, which is which what I'm probably going to do. But uh, as you guys saw, it's actually, uh, the sun's just coming down now. But as you saw that I was generating a lot more suds although with the orifice change you didn't really see that much of a difference it wasn't that substantial so uh, I may go back to the stock one um, and somehow figure out a way to get a better gun anyway so hopefully that um, helped you guys out and what you guys want to do as far as uh, foam cannons but I just kind of wanted to detail what, I, what I'm doing with mine. Anyway, so like always, stay humble and be kind.